Hello, hello, good night. Good evening, I mean, good evening. I'm sorry. Hello, good evening. Hi, good evening. Good evening, guys. How are you? Good evening, good evening. Hi. Good evening, perfect. So, well, I think we're gonna wait for some of your classmates because I have been told that you're 18 participants, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, so you're 18. We're gonna wait for the other ones, but while we wait for them, I'm gonna introduce myself, okay? So uh, my name is Diana Sayas. I'm 27 years old. I have been a teacher for around six years now. I have been with English Corporativo for about two years. And I have been working online with them like for the whole three years. Now, I have been given your group. So I hope you like my classes and I hope we can get we can get along, okay? So because I know that you have started already this module and I'm just joining your classes. Um, that's for me, that, that's all for me. I don't have anything to add. And what about you guys? Is there something you wanna tell me? Something you would like to practice in these classes? Something, I don't know, something that I can help you with. Nope, no yet. Oh, well, you will help me with something. I will, uh, so I need to know the, let me see, what is the attendance? Okay, here it is. I need to know your teacher, the one that was with you before, he, he was supposed to have the, the, alone sessions, like the time he spent with you after the class, like the 10 minutes that he has with you guys, right? Like the 10 minutes for each participant. And I don't remember, well, he didn't give me the list of the people that already went through that process. So I would like you to help me with that. And maybe let me know who was the last person who stayed with the teacher for the 10 minutes. You remember hi, who was? hi teacher. Good evening. My hi, name is David. David. I am a teacher. You're a uh, teacher. Yes, I am a math teacher. The most beautiful subject. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. Uh, <laughs> okay, uh, I was in the meeting the ten minutes with the, with the teacher. The, uh, I think uh, about the. Uh, six, five or six students stay with him. So but, the, the, uh, I don't uh, remember uh, all the names, but okay. it was about two or three weeks ago. Okay, uh, so, but, do you, but, Sorry? but I don't know if you remember who was the last person. So that, that's the only I thing that I think need to it was. I think it was Francisco. Francisco, Francisco, Francisco. Yes, yes, Francisco. Let me see. So this group is the G23. Let me see. I'm just going to check this really quick. Okay, Ruben was your teacher. Okay, so if it, if it was Francisco, that means that Axel, Andres, Blanca, David, Dora, Erwin, Fatima, and Fernando and Francisco already had their chance. Yes, teacher. Yep. That is. Okay, perfect. Thank you for letting me know. Well, yes, teacher. Um, I know that you know each like each other already. I know that you have been to well, I think you you were together in the last in the last module. Yes or no? Yes, you were. Mm, so you know each other? Of them, the enough, I, the the of them, I think. Okay, most yeah. of them. Okay, perfect. But um, I don't know you. Okay, that's that's my that's my thing that I don't know you. Uh, so we're gonna get to know each other. So I'm gonna know you, and you're gonna know me. But right now, I need to go with your attendance. Remind me about this because <laughs> this is the funny part. On Saturday. I go to, well, every Saturday, I go to English Corporativo, like actually there to the place to teach classes, okay? And when I was there, my boss called me and he told me, 
hey, do you have time at night? Because I need a teacher to be with a group at night. So on Saturday, I was told that I was gonna be with you. So it was like this. Now well, I have to get a, used to some things that I forgot about these kind of groups. So just help me to remember something. You go through attendance three times or twice? Well, uh, the teacher said that the, twice, but the, in, he, actually he, he take the attendance only once. Okay, teacher. but it's supposed to be twice. Okay, in Jocelyn? The, in the, in the middle of the, of the class. Okay, okay. Sorry, teacher, for the interruption. Well, uh, with the previous teacher, uh, they used to get the attendance since the beginning of the class, at the middle of the class, and also at the end, 15 minutes before ending the class. Okay. But with the last teacher, we, he used the attendance once at night, p.m. Okay, okay. We're going to go back to the last teacher, like, not the last one, but the last one before him. Because that, that that's that's how that's how it's supposed to be. Okay, so we're gonna go three times right now in the middle of the class, and then before we finish the class. Okay, Axel, Gabriel. Oh, I'm so, sorry again. Something. If I don't say your name correctly, please tell me how to say it because sometimes you have difficult names or maybe they are pronounced different. So help me with that. Um. Axel Gabriel Rivera Rodriguez. Nope. Okay. Andres Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Sí, good evening, teacher. Present. Okay, perfect. Did I say your name right, Andres? Yes, it's correct. Blanca Stephanie Navarro Flores. Okay, perfect. David Samuel Galdames Monterrosa. Present teacher. Perfect. Dora Elizabeth Flores Méndez. Present. Erwin Lagos Andrade. Is not here. Fátima Lourdes Gaitán Romero. Present. Perfect. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Did I say your last name correct? Yes. Cosme? Okay, thank you. Did you did. Okay. Francisco Amadeo Villacorta Chavez. Present, teacher. Okay. Freddy Vladimir Cortez Lopez. I'm here, teacher. Okay. Harvin Isaac. Guevara Miranda. Present teacher. Did I say it right? Yes. Okay, thank you. Kenia Esmeralda Galvez Ruiz. No, she's not here. Madeline Jamilet Molina Gonzalez. Present teacher. Okay, perfect. Manuel de Jesus Sanchez Hernandez. Present. Marlon Stanley Present. Ramirez Reyes. Present. Is it Stanley or is it Stanley? Stanley. Stanley? Yes. Okay, okay. I'm asking because I have another student that's named Stanley and he said, teacher, it's a Stanley. So I was like, okay, it's a Stanley. Thelma Cleotilde Peña Martinez. Present teacher. Did I say it right? Yes, it's right. Okay, perfect. William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Present. Excellent. Jessica Yanari Cortez Diaz. I'm here, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Jocelyn. Present, did you okay. hear me? Oh, now I can hear you, yeah. Now, now. Okay, perfect. Now that everybody's here, I'm gonna introduce myself again. Okay, as I was telling you before, my name is Diana Sayas. 
I'm 27 years old. I have been a teacher, as I told you, for about six. Can you hear me, guys? Hello? <laughs> Sorry about that. Something happened with my internet. Sorry about that. Can you hear me right now? Yes. yes sir. Sir. Okay. Thank you. I was well. I was going to introduce myself again, but can you hear me well, or do you hear any interference in my audio? We can hear you perfectly. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay, so my name is Diana Sayas. I'm 27 years old. I'm a teacher. I have been a teacher for about six years now. I've been teaching online since the pandemic started. I'm a teacher now at a public school and I have been working with Inglés Corporativo for like since the pandemic started for about two years now. Now I would like to get to know each one of you guys here and maybe just tell me your name and why you are learning English. That's maybe what I would like to know. And if you want to add something interesting about you, you can add it. Some students like to do that. So if you want to do that, you can, okay? So let's start with the first one here. And well, I already know him, the one first here. He said his name is David and he's a math teacher. But if you want to add something else, David, go ahead. Yes, teacher, I always use two devices. There is not a clone for me, it's two devices. Uh, one for audio and video and another one for see the presentation. Uh, and uh, because my computer doesn't have audio, my computer doesn't have a video. And I use my phone for only for video, for audio, and the computer for the documents or for read and, and something like that. Yes, yes. Okay, thank you, David. Yes, I was looking at you, like, there you are and there you are again. Okay, thank you for clarifying that. Thank you. Okay, okay. something you would like to add about you that I must know, or you think I must know? I should know. Mm, okay, there are many things, but in the course of the, in the developing of the course, we are knowing and other things. Okay, perfect, perfect. Thank you, David. Manuel. Sure, uh, good evening, this is Manuel Hernandez. It is a pleasure to be here and uh, share with you, um, you know, the, the joy of learning. Let me tell you. Um, I work in the morning from age and 27 years old. So um, I work on, on a call center. The call center names is One Link. I am working on the account Frontier. Uh, Frontier is an airline, so uh, I am working as a customer service. I am really focused to give excellent service to the customers. Try to solve each call so fast um, as I can. Trying to, I am really focused to give excellent. So uh, all my hobbies. I really love reading books. So um, I really like listening to music. I really uh, love watching TV. So about my studies, I am a valuable person. I did it at ProLingua. So I did study there for almost two years and, and six months. It was a nice place to, to study. The environment, uh, the activity that the uh, academy does is really interesting. It is a nice place to study. So um, more about me. So um, for this moment, I guess, I don't know, maybe you can ask me any question I can answer. I don't know what uh, anything else I can share with you. Well, Manuel, that was like a 
a good start. <laughs> Let's start from that. So that I will get to know you more and more and more uh, as we go, right? But for now, thank you very much. I think like you, you just gave me your resume and that's okay. Okay, thank you. I, I like to know that. And now I know that you're working for a call center, one link, right? Okay. <laughs> Okay. okay, thank you, Manuel. Thank you very much for your participation. Now I would like to go with Thelma, if you would like to tell me something about you. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Um, yeah, I'm, a, I'm uh, actually uh, working in Nautica, Hawaii for many years. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, uh, I'm 50, 50 years old, so um, I, I practice yoga. And so, excuse me for the for my it's okay. It's okay. Oh, it's a trouble. I have <laughs> two dogs, <laughs> two pets. Please. Okay. Are they little Are dogs? dogs? Excuse me. <laughs> okay. But, um, um, so my favorite uh, hobby is uh, design garden, practice yoga, and so these are places, um, other things. Okay. Yes, and I need, I need you help for practice my, my pronunciation okay. and reading a little more. Uh, a little uh, faster. Very yeah. faster. Yes. Faster. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Excuse okay. Me thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Therma. Thank you very much. Guys, I like you when you speak. Um, I know that maybe it's going to take a while, but yeah, I like, I like it when you speak because I get to know your English level from that. And so far, so good. I, I, I think that your English level is in the level that you're supposed to be, advanced one. Like we need to speak a lot. This uh, thing is about speaking. It's not about the teacher speaking, it's about you speaking because you're the ones that need to practice, okay? So I went with them. Okay, Fernando, it's, it's your time. Uh, hi. Uh, well, you, you say, my, you, say my, you know my name and uh, I, I am a, a developer and also I am a system engineer. Uh, I work as a developer and I like uh, to play soccer and I like listening to music and I am learning, I am trying to learn English because I, uh, in the future I would like to, to work for a, a U, USA company and, and maybe uh, improve my skills. That's it. Okay, excellent. And actually, as you are a developer, it's very important to know English. You will get like a really good salary. Uh, that, that is the goal. <laughs> okay, perfect, Fernando. Thank you very much. Thank you for your participation. Okay, Doris, I would like to go with you now. Okay, good evening. Good evening. My name is Doris Flores. I am a content. And I I could like uh, speak English uh, better than, than now and because I, I like it learning. Okay. okay. That's okay. only. <laughs> You're an accountant, you said? Yes. Okay, perfect. I, well, I respect your job. I studied, I studied accounting when I was in high school, but I hated it. And now I'm an English teacher because I hated accountant. <laughs> okay, perfect. Thank you, Doris. Thank you very much. Andres. Good evening, teacher. My yeah. name is Andres. I am from Citala, Chalatenang. Work for this city hall in my town. And I always wanted to learn English. And that's uh, one of my goals, and I hope that I will I will 
get the gold one, hopefully. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much, Andres. Thank you. Appreciate it. Guys, um, the ones that have the cameras off, I would like to know why they are off, because they are supposed to be on for the video and the attendance. So if you can turn it on, maybe you need to comb your hair or you need to change your face or something, do it. But if you have something that's happening, tell me why you don't sure. have it on. Okay. In my case, I have a, a bad connection with the Wi-Fi, and that's why I have to turn off the camera because uh, other or less, uh, the, the video, it's very unstable. Yeah, okay, unstable. I know, I know, I understand. Okay, Blanca, in your case, I'm, I'm asking you because if they ask me why do they have the cameras off, I would like to know why, but thank you for letting me know. And the other ones, if you want to tell me why you have it off on, and on the chat, send me a message on the chat privately, only to Inglés Corporativo, and so I will know why you have it off, okay? I'm not, I'm not being like mad about it, I just want to know why, okay? Thank you. Let's go with William. Okay, good evening. Uh, my name is William. Uh, I am a civil engineer and I am learning English because I really like the language. That's it. That's it? Okay, perfect, William. Thank you very much. Nobody here has said where they are from because we all are from El Salvador, but I don't think you're all from San Salvador or everybody here works or, or lives in San Salvador? Everybody, no? Yeah, in my case, I live in San Salvador, but yeah, me too. I don't know the others. Okay, okay. Maybe because sometimes I have students from Santa Ana. Well, Andres, he said, um, you said Chalate. Chalate. Mm -hmm. Okay, Chalate. perfect. Yeah, that's a good weather. Okay, let's go with Francisco. Okay, I tried. Uh, good evening, my name is Francisco. I live in Rosario La Paz. This is too near, it's too near to the airport. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, I know. Uh -huh. uh, I work in textile in La Paz. Mm -hmm. I am part of the Pulsing team. Uh, well, the principal idea that that of being here is to learn more words because well I know that I have problem with my in with my English. However, I I like it to <coughs> to learn more. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Francisco. Yes, and you will. I hope that I can teach you. Okay. But I think you will. Thank you. Thank you very much. Kenya. Hello, I'm Kenya. I'm 22 years old. And I decided to study English because I want to get more vocabulary. I'm currently working in a bilingual account on a call center. But I, I really want to improve my listening skills and all that stuff. Really good English, Kenya, actually. So it seems like you're working for a bilingual account. Thank you. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Uh, okay. I think the next one is going to be Harbin. Okay. Hello, everyone. Good evening. My name is Harbin Isaac Guevara Miranda. I live in Ourdes. I am 30 years old. I am working as a co manager. That is the reason why I am learning English because I want to offer the best service for the customer. Okay, thank you, Harvey. Well, I think that I, I I think there's like a few of you that work in a call center, right? There are no. there are a few. There are a few, but I there are a few like, but you are an account manager. You said Harvey. Yes, account manager. In a call center. No, it's an a textile fabric. Oh, okay, okay, okay. My bad. Because when I see when I hear accounts, I think about call centers. It's <laughs> immediately in my mind. Okay, thank you, Harvin. Thank you very much. And thank you for clarifying as well. Madeline. 
Madeline, ya mira. Hello, good night. Uh, I'm sorry, my camera doesn't work. I don't know why. Uh, I think uh, the actualization of my computer, but I don't know why. Mm -hmm. Doesn't doesn't work. Uh, my name is Madeline. Um, I'm twenty. I'm learning English because I like it, and I, at the same time, I, in the future, I would like to uh, have a better job and buy a house and a car <laughs> and <laughs> that's all okay thank you madeline well i think that's everyone's dream right to have a house have a car that that's it that's what we want okay thank you fatima hi hi my name is fatima gaitan i work at sykes as a business system analyst in the information system systems area. Uh, I, the company already gave me a two and a half month English training uh, because uh, the company is, is having a lot of changes. Uh, and now I, I'm going to be more in meetings with uh, American uh, clients from the United States. Uh, so I want to continue practicing and improving my speaking. Okay, perfect, Fatima. But you are doing good so far. Perfect. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much. Now let's go with Blanca. Did you go already or not? No, right, Blanca? No, Blanca, no, I think she. Here. Hello, Blanca. Uh, I don't know if you can hear me. I can hear you. Okay, I'm Blanca. Um, um, since... Well, I I start to learn English with English Corporativo since intermediate one, and that's why because um I like to improve my English. I like I want to improve my speaking and my writing skills. Mm -hmm. So that's why I I, I learn because I I love English. I, that, that language is amazing. You can communicate with in every country that that you have the possibility to go. So that's why I, I want to learn more about it. Okay, perfect. That's a good answer. Yes, like not just to work, but to go to other countries, countries, and to be able to communicate with other people. Right. Yeah, that, that's a good idea. Jocelyn yeah. Rivas. Hi, uh, my name is Jocelyn Rivas. Uh, I am a student vet. Uh, I work for Sykes for a bilingual account for the moment. Uh, I want to learn English because I want to learn uh, how to pronounce perfectly one day. I learned English by myself by using some application uh, on the internet, but now I really want to learn correctly uh, also grammar, and how to pronounce the word correctly, and when they how to get a better job. Wow, we have a self-learner here. Okay, excellent, Jocelyn. She has learned by herself. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Marlon Stanley. Stanley. Uh, yes, hello. Uh, my name is Marlon. Uh, I am 30 years old, uh, working at Sykes. I'm working on English. Account. I'm working at uh, uh, Guardian. Guardian is a dental insurance company. I've been uh, in sites for seven months. Um, also, I'm studying veterinary in the university and studying in Universidad de Salvador. And I've been uh, learning English for a long time. Also, I think I have to improve a lot. My 
sometimes I'm practicing every day with, my, uh, with customers, but sometimes there are some issues when you're speaking with your grammar and that's why I'm here. Um, that's all, that's pretty much. Okay, thank you, Marlon. Thank you very much, appreciate it. Predis. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Can you hear me? Yeah. Oh, good evening. My name is Ray Cortez. I live in Acajutla. I'm a, actually, I'm a plumber. What can I say? Um, I'm here to actually to make some friends and to learn more about English, actually to improve my speaking, my writing, my pronunciation. I think that would be it. Okay. Thank you, Fredis. Well, Fredis is here because he wants to have friends, <laughs> not because he wants to work or he wants to travel to other countries. But yeah, that's a good answer. Everybody's here for different reasons. Okay, thank you, Fredis. Jessica. Hi, good evening, everyone. Good evening. Uh, my name is Jessica, and uh, you can call you can tell me Sanari because I like my second name. Yanari, okay, Yanari. Uh, uh -huh, uh -huh. And uh, I'm a content and auditor. Um, I work for a government and I need uh, for why is my, why I need to, or why I stay here uh, is because I need to learn English and improve my, my, my pronunciation. And I'm happy to be here. Just that. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Again, and, another and nice to see you again, teacher. You, I, I was your teacher before. Yeah. Was I really? What module? Uh, since uh, the last last year, actually, uh, last year was you was my were my teacher. Did you have a good experience with me? Yeah, excellent experience. <laughs> okay, 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 Janari, thank you very much. Oh, I'm sorry because I turn off I turn off my 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 camera because I'm driving. Okay, thank you, thank you very much for that. And maybe when I get to see you, I will remember you because I have a lot of students, but it's the faces that I remember the most. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> thank you, Janari. Thank you very much. Wow, well, wow. Well, that's a that's a that's a new one for me. I have never had again a student okay perfect well i th thought i saw someone called erwin connecting but then he disconnected i don't know but that i think he's your classmate right yeah okay okay perfect well i like your english your english is not bad at all it's a really good english and the most important part is that you're not afraid of speaking which is the most important thing right now here in this module. Because if you're like, my name is, I don't know, and, and thank you, that will be. So that's a problem because to speak English, to be able to speak perfectly a second language, you don't have to be afraid of that language. And so that's something that I really, really admire from this group because you like to speak and that's something that I like to hear. And many of you are working for call centers. That's something else that is gonna help you a lot with your pronunciation because you have to speak English maybe most of the day because some of you work for bilingual accounts. So maybe you get some Spanish calls, but you will have to speak English anyhow. In my case, I learned English when I live in the United States because I was there for a year. I went to an internship in Minnesota, right? Like I would call it Minnesota, but when I was living there, they would say, no, it's in Minnesota, it's Minnesota. So I was living there. It's near to the borders to Canada, okay? So Canada was absolutely close. That's what I improved my English. I studied English for about five years and then I went there uh, to teach Spanish in an immersion school. So I was teaching Spanish. And I was living in a house with people from the United States. I don't like to call them American because we all live in America, but whatever, that's another topic. And yeah, so I was living there and that's how I improved my 
English by making mistakes, a lot of mistakes. And I'm not telling you I'm perfect because I'm not, not at all. Maybe you will hear some mistakes in my pronunciation because English, guess what? It's not my first language. <laughs> my first language is Spanish. So I will always have some mistakes, but I try to do my best for you. And maybe we will learn each, like I will let, I will learn from you as you will learn from me. And that's the purpose here. And I like to teach advanced groups because I get to speak more English, which I like because in my main job that is in a public school, my students don't like to hear me speaking in English. So this is a good thing for me to speak English with you guys. And now I see Erwin here. Erwin, I would like to get to know you. Maybe you can tell me something about yourself so I can get to know you. Okay, for me. My mm -hmm. name is Erwin Lagos. I'm grandmother. I have my business. Yeah, I have my business. And uh, what can I say? I try to, to learn English, okay, teacher? I try. I try to learn English. Okay. Uh, I studied English many years ago. I think maybe 30 years ago. I studied English. Okay. Okay. Only that okay. That's all. That's all. Yeah. okay. Perfect, Edwin. Thank you very much. Okay. Okay, so we do know like most of you are from San Salvador. So if there is a problem in San Salvador, I will know that you won't go into the class. Or like I remember last week there was a problem with the electricity, right? Like the power went down and most of the cities. I'm not from San Salvador. I work in San Salvador during the weekends, but I'm not from San Salvador. I live in Usulután. I don't know if you know where that is. It's close to San Miguel. Maybe you know where San Miguel is. Um, and sometimes I have problems with my internet. I hope I don't have problems today, but yeah, that, that, that's why we had a lot, a little bit of an interruption at the beginning of the class. Okay, thank you very much. Um, I'm happy to be here with you. I hope we can share valuable things about English and about many other things as well. We're gonna start with the class. As you told me, Francisco, I think was the last one who stayed with the last teacher, or Ruben, I think was his name. And uh, we're gonna stay with another student today that is going to be, just let me be clear on that. So if Francisco was the last student, so Fredis is gonna to be today, okay? Okay. If there's a student who would like to have some other 10 minutes because we have, I think we have the time. Some other 10 minutes, um, you can tell me and I can book you for other day. Because so far I think I'm gonna be in number 10. So I only have like nine students left. I will have some dates for you. So if you would like to do that, please uh, send me a message and we will book another date. Now, uh, in the notebook, I think you're working on the platform as well, but in the notebook, they told me the last page you work on was page 18, okay? Um, now we're gonna start then with page number 19. I'm gonna share my screen, just wait a second. Okay, here we are. We're gonna be working here, okay? I. The teacher, well, he, he didn't speak to me, but he spoke to my boss and he said that this was the last page you studied. We are here now in unit two, training the workforce and the topic for today. Can you help me read the topic, Marlon? I'm sorry. Can you help me reading the topic? Yes. Uh, um, my, okay, how to fix uh, comma splice. Okay, how to fix, thank you, Marlon. Thank you very much. How to fix comma splices. How to fix it, that's what we're gonna look. Sometimes when we are writing, like now this is a writing activity more than a speaking activity, 
there's a problem with the Spanish people, like people who speak Spanish. Why? Because we like to add commas a lot or like to add be with where they are not supposed to be. Punctuation is different in English and it's different in Spanish. Because sometimes in Spanish, we can add extra information in parentheses, but in English, we can add extra information by using commas. So we're gonna learn how to do this part here. It says, a comma splice occurs when a writer has connected two main class clauses with a comma alone. So meaning that it's only using one comma with two main clauses, which is a mistake. Example of incorrect statements. We have two examples of incorrect statements and I would like one of you to read one of the examples. So David, will you be so kind to read the first example that is marked there, please? Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. Letter A, period plus capital letter. No, no, no. I mean, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That I, it's the first the example. Oh, yeah, that sorry, is. Sorry. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Training is very important. Employees and managers don't, don't want to do training. Thank you. Thank you very much. So the first example we have there, it's we have two statements, two clauses. This is one, and this is the second one. Both clauses are important to the text, text, okay? They are important. So it's a mistake to separate them by a comma only, only a comma. So this statement is incorrect. So Fatima, will you be so kind to read the second one? Training presents a prime opportunity to expand the knowledge base of all employees. Many employers in the current Climate, fine development opportunities, expensive. Thank you very much, Fatima. So if you can see, these clauses are longer and they are separated just by a comma, which is not correct. So how to fix that? How to make it correct? So here is the explanation we have. Fixing a comma splice, simple, is simple. You can use one of the following strategies. We have two strategies that we can use. The first one right here is period plus capital letter. So we will separate them, like we say in Spanish, punto seguido, and then we will add capital letter. The error can be broken into separate sentences. Okay. Instead, instead of just separating by a comma, just place a period there there and then you continue with the second clause and that is correct. For example, look, these are the exact two main clauses. This is the exact information. The only thing that is gonna change is the punctuation. Maybe you can say, but I'm saying it right. If there is not a grammar mistake there, correct. There is not a grammar mistake, but there is a punctuation mistake. Here we have it. Training is very important employees and managers don't want to do training. So we have an idea here, which is connected to the, to the other idea, but we don't have a connection between them two. So what I need to do is separate the two ideas, even though they are the same, they have the same meaning. Now, right now I'm gonna do it here. Training is very important, period. Employees and managers don't want to do training. The, the idea is that training is important. That's one idea, training, an important thing. Then the other idea is even though the training is important, managers, employees, they don't wanna do training. Well, but that's one way to separate it with a period. And that will be the easy way. Then we have B, comma plus coordinating Teacher. conjunction. Sorry, yeah, tell me. Teacher, uh, maybe the, the mistake in the first part was that the, the second clause, it seems to be subordinate to the first one when we use comma. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And, there is, and it's uh, not subordinate. It has a right. meaning by itself. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, good, good, 
good comprehension about grammar stuff, yeah. And because it's main class, a subordinate class, class like David is saying, is one class that needs the other class to have a meaning, right? It doesn't make sense if I say it alone. So if I have two classes that alone, they have meanings, so why would I need a comma? I need a period. But there is another way we can do it with a comma, but we add a coordinating conjunction. Conjunctions are like, yeah, yeah, so, and, but, all those stuff. Well, we have the examples there. Uh, can you help me read that part right there, please? Fernando, this part right here, highlighted part. Okay. Uh... Uh, another good option is to connect the two main clauses with a comma plus a coordinating conjunction for and nor but or the or yet so thank you fanboys there are the fanboys exactly we use these words these words they are going to help us to add the second clause which is another main clause using the comma because the meaning, then it will have a meaning because I'm making with this, but I'm making a comparison. Like this is an this is an idea, but this is the other idea. That's what I'm saying. So again, the same example we have here. Training is very important. The mistake, coma, employees and managers don't want to do training. The correct way, if I don't use the period, will be training is very important, coma. But, and now it makes sense. It sounds a little bit better. I don't know if you can see it, but even sounds better when we're speaking. But employees and managers don't wanna do training. Again, yes. training is very important, but employees and managers don't wanna do training. I'm using a comma and I'm using a coordinating conjunction to add two main, to join, I'm sorry, to join two main classes. Now. Is that clear for you guys? I think it's not a complicated topic, but if you want me to- Yes, for me, for me, yes. Teacher, I want to ask you a favor. Okay, in the, you need in, a favor. In, the, in the previous part of the manual, mm -hmm. we supposed to, to learn about paid conjunctions. Okay. Or, but uh, we don't uh, have an explanation about paid conjunctions, neither nor, either or, uh, not also but okay so you need an explanation but also you would like an and, explanation uh, about pair conjunctions I, I would like, I, would like I, I don't know the other guys but i i would like an explanation about uh, neither nor about uh, uh, not only but also uh, that was uh, like the first or second topic that we see in the manual and we do an exercise but uh, I don't have a, I have some doubts about that. Okay, okay. Um, any topic that you will like me, that you would like me to reinforce, tell me, and I'm gonna be prepared. Well, I can teach you like something really quick, but for next class, I'm gonna be prepared with that topic and I'm gonna present many as many examples as you will need to understand it, okay? As the one that I said, as many examples as you will need. Um, next class, maybe I will have some examples for you, David, and we will maybe do some exercises if the other students would like to do that as well. I don't know if they would like to, but. Thank you. Yes. Yes, okay, perfect. We will do it. Don't worry about it, we will do it. Okay, now, just a, a quick reminder here. It's incorrect to add just one comma, when we are talking about two main clauses, as David was saying, it's like doing a subordinate class clause with a main clause. In that case, it's correct. But in this case, we're talking about two main clauses. That's why we need to apply two of the strategies. One is period. And then we start, like we're starting with a whole different thing, capital letter, like boom, de seguido. And then the other that we can do is comma plus a coordinating conjunction, the examples you have there. 
for, and, nor, but, or, yet, and so. That's how we will fix it. Now, here, right now, you have the manual right there, but if you don't have it like on your hand, please take a screenshot of this exercise that we will do. Take a screenshot, please. What we need to do here is what it says in the number nine part. William, would you help me reading number nine here? Read the following article. Identify and correct for common place mistakes. Thank you very much. So we have only four mistakes. What we need to do is to correct those mistakes and find how to do it correctly, okay? So if we need to add a period, if we need to add a comma plus a uh, conjunction, this, that's what you will need to do. I'm gonna divide you into groups. We're gonna go to the breakout rooms and you're gonna have the time to do this exercise with your classmates, okay? Is the activity clear for you? Teacher, remember poner, put the two of me in the same room, <laughs> please. <laughs> Remember, poner to put. <laughs> okay, okay, I'll do it. Okay, it's okay. That was funny. Okay, let me see. David, David, yes, David, yes, David teacher. needs to go with David. Okay. Okay. What did I do? Okay, David is in number one, and I'm gonna move the other David to number one as well. And there we go. Okay, perfect. Thank you, teacher. You just need to correct the mistakes. Please talk to your classmates. Do yes. a cooperative learning. Marlon, please join the breakout room.
Okay, maybe in this paragraph we have another one. Yes. Productivity mm -hmm. usually increases when the company implements training course. Increased efficiency in processes will ensure project success. Mm -hmm. um, how how soon like that? Training also makes a company more attractive to potential new recruits. These are people who seek to improve their skill and the opportunities associated with those new skills. I, I in, uh, after the recruit because they are the recruits, uh, recruiters, uh, uh, new recruits. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. Let me. Oh, I'm sorry that I'm interrupting you guys, but yes, go, the second ahead, clause teacher. where you have these are people who seek to improve. Do you think that is a main clause or a subordinate? I, I, clause? I think a subordinate clause. Correct. So in that I case, think the comma is correct in that correct. part. Exactly. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yes. The first mm -hmm. part, I, I I was thinking. Yeah, the first part needs a comma, needs needs a fixing. Yes, needs a needs a period or a or a conjunction. Correct. I I think this part, teacher. I want to ask you about 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 one. Mm -hmm. We made uh, and this first part. We have a, a period here, and we mm -hmm. change it for a comma, but. I was in doubt because because the conjunction, the completion of projects, and the period is correct. Okay, let me read it. Employees attending training sessions also miss out on work time, which may delay the completion of projects. So, what are the benefits? There was a coma or period. Okay, so there was a coma. And then what are the benefits? Or the word so was there? Well, the, 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 the document has a, a, a period there. Here okay. is the document and there is a period. Okay. I, 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 I thought because there was a, a different paragraph, but there was a period and the original, a period, let, let, let me share because I... I... Okay, it's... I will think that is. This is the comma. original project. So, what are the benefits? I, I think it's correct, but mm -hmm. it seems correct to the comma. Yeah, it's it's correct with the comma because there is a conjunction. Yes, for the conjunction, yes. Yes, so because of the conjunction. So, put a comma mm -hmm. and uh, the conjunction in, yes. in, in lower case. Mm -hmm. Correct, perfect. Okay. But for the comma, for the comma, there are only four mistakes. This is a, yeah, only a, four a, mistakes. a mistake for the, the period. No, it's only four mistakes in, every, in, in the whole doc, document. All. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In all the documents. Yeah, it's only four. It because a, the, this one, expensive and employees, is, is there was a comma and we put a period. Let me this, see. This, but many employers correct. in the current climate find development opportunities expensive. Employees attending training sessions also miss out on work time, which may be, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. The, 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 yeah the, the, the period and, and the, it was the, necessary. There was another comma here, and we omit that comma. Yeah, 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 that's unnecessary. Roll in comma, there was a mistake. So let and me check other, that. Training will place. give employees a greater understanding of their responsibilities within their role. And in turn, it will, yeah, 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 that's correct. How you have it now is correct. Yes. Mm -hmm. And in the last part, we have uh, that one, courses. It increases. And that could, be or couldn't be, productivity usually increases when a company implements training course. And there are independent clauses. Increases efficiency in process will ensure project success. But maybe could be a subordinated clause because the training mm. course can mm. produce an increase, increase efficiency. No, it's not a subordinated clause. It's a, it's a main clause. But in this it's case, I don't, know, I don't know how you feel about it, but if you say productivity usually increases when a company implements training courses, coma, and increase efficiency in process will ensure project success. 
Yes, it's on like two main clauses. Mm -hmm. And you will like, and you will, you will join it with in, because you're talking about how increase, how like productivity okay, increases. Okay. In that in that case, we put a comma and uh, n. And I'm asking, and I'm telling you this because you're adding information to the text to to yes. what you already said. Yes, and yes. adding information is with n. Yes. Okay. Perfect. Okay. We're gonna go okay. to the other groups. Thank you, teacher. If you can maybe practice reading while I go through the other groups. Okay. Mm. But in the second line, hi, uh -huh, in the first and the second opportunity, line, opportunity, opportunity, expensive, expensive. Uh -huh. and employees attending training session. Yeah. Okay. And employees. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. In the seventh line, is the other mistake. Okay, the seven. Can we check? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, one, two, three, four, seven. Five line. When you
Perfect. Okay. So there were five, no, four mistakes. But as you go, you corrected more of the mistakes. Like there were more than four, I would think, in some, like you can make it better, but not like it was a mistake. Okay. Now, especially there were four mistakes in every one of the paragraphs. In the first paragraph, can you tell me, Doris, what was the mistake in the first paragraph? In the first paragraph is in the after the expensive. It's a comma. Mm -hmm. And there are no comma, it's a period. Okay, let me share the screen so we can see what you're talking about. Okay, uh, where? There is a potential expensive. It's a period in the second in the second, part, in the second line. Okay, so here in the second line, mm -hmm. you have the word expensive. Uh -huh. So you need to add what? A period? A period in a, a after capital letter. Exactly. So the first mistake that we can find is, wait a second. It's here, right? This is the first mistake. Okay, thank you. Let's see, well, here, I'm just gonna clarify this so you don't get confused. So here, there was a mistake. Some student was like, yeah, teacher, but there is a mistake, yeah. Here, maybe you can add this in this part right here, but it's not actually a mistake. It's just a way to make it better, okay? It's just a way to make it better. Francisco, tell me. Uh, what happened with the comma between employees and but the first line? The comma have a, a space, a double space. Yeah. 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 yeah, that's true, Francisco. And that's something that I was telling you before. Um, with that comma, it's not like a mistake, but it's a way to make it better because it's incorrect to make it like to make to do the space, and mm -hmm. that's correct. Yeah, but it's not a mistake okay. about the comma splices, splices, okay? It's about wow. how they type it. But yeah, it's a okay. mistake, but I'm okay. gonna add it because when I started sharing this document, I was like, this this is a mistake, this is not correct. Yeah, it's true. Thank you, for, thank you Francisco, for pointing that out. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, now there, well, I was telling you before, like with the other students, we were discussing this part right here that it can go in this place and it can be separated with a comma, but that's just a, may, a way to make it better, to look better, to make it look better. But then besides that one right there, we have another mistake. And the, the other mistake is, wait a second. Okay, the other mistake is in, after training we'll give employee, Training also creates training. Okay, okay. So what is the second mistake in this part right here? What is the mistake in this part right here? There was a mistake before, teacher, in the in the previous paragraph with training. the conjunction. With the conjunction, because within the world and the role, comma, and there oh, is no comma after true, true. The, the conjunction. True that, true that, it's true. Here, there was a mistake like this one, like the one that, uh, that Francisco told me. Here is one comma and another comma. So it's not correct, right? It's just one in this card, in this case. Thank you, David, thank you very much. Yes, I forgot about that one and it's, it's here. We have one comma, two commas, that is incorrect, okay? Very incorrect. Okay, then the next one, it's another comma places. It's in the training also creates. Okay, can you tell me what is the mistake there? There is not a conjunction after the comma. What, the, like the comma between workplace and employees? Yes. Okay, what conjunction saying. will you add? Mm. 
y mi bat. Training also mm -hmm. creates a security workplace that employees may gain access to training. Maybe, but also. Okay. Training also creates a supportive workplace, but also employees may gain access to training. They wouldn't have otherwise. In my point of view, we use in so employees. So employees may gain. Yeah, so employees may gain access to training they wouldn't have. Otherwise, no. Well, in this case, I will personally use a period and a capital letter. Instead of thinking about what conjunction I can use, just period, capital letter, and that's it. Because they are two separate ideas. Training also creates supportive workplace. Employees may gain access to training they wouldn't have otherwise known about or sought out themselves. De tell me, what is the question? So you could have a period in a short sentence? Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah because I see, I see it's actually really short when it says training also creates a supportive workplace, period. Yeah, so you, can, uh, you can add it. And actually, I will go with training, put it right next to confidence, like period, then training also creates a supportive workplace. Because... Sometimes those sentences at the beginning of the paragraph, they are like introductions. So it doesn't matter if they are really short. You oh. can use, training also creates a supportive workplace because I'm, I'm trying to figure out with a, with a conjunction. Training also creates yes, a Yes, the conjunction, will, it will be end. End yeah. because Employees we are working a train. supportive workplace. Uh -huh. Supportive and, work, workplace, and in that supportive workplace, employees may gain access to training they wouldn't know. Uh -huh, uh -huh. It can be N or it can be period, like David says. Yeah, it can be yes. N and it yes. can be just a period there. Yeah. Then we have the other one. Thank you guys. Then we have the other one. Well, let me. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with here. Here, right here is the situation. Okay. The next one, the next one is in the next paragraph. Productivity, okay, productivity. Here, usually increases when a company implements training courses. Increased efficiency in process will ensure project success. I think in this paragraph, the mistake is very clear. What is the mistake? Yes, because there are two main clauses, mm -hmm. and and uh, we need to put a period in mm -hmm. a, an uppercase. Mm -hmm. uh, company implements in course. In what part? Like increase. Productivity should increase when a company implements training course. Period. Increase efficiency in process will ensure project success. Correct, it's yes. a period. We can add a period yes. right there. Thank you, Francisco. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yes, it's right there. And also, as we did it before, you it will also make sense if you add M. Productivity usually increases when a company implements training courses. And increased efficiency in process will ensure project success. Makes yes. sense, right? Yes. Both ways yes, make, sense. make yes. sense. Okay, perfect. Now let's go with the next part and the last one right there. Training also. Is there a mistake there? We have a, a there is a conjunction also. Mm -hmm. No, but the, have a comma training comma also makes a company. Training also makes a company. I don't no, know. it's not necessary. I don't know. It no, also no. is okay. It also is okay. It's not necessary. It also makes a company more attractive to potential new recruits. Okay. Here we were talking with David in the break room that these are people. It's a subordinate clause because it needs the other one to make sense. However, 
these are people who seek to improve their skills can can have a period right there and just start with capital letters. But in this case, right here, I don't see a mistake. So we can count one. Well, this is the one that you saw. The one did another one, two, three, and we have five mistakes. Actually more than they said, okay? And yes, there is a problem, guys. When I was studying, I remember that I used to do this. When we are writing in English, and we like to be more like formal in the writing, we like to add a lot of commas and a lot of periods and, and like, yeah, like that, and it's not correct. Another thing that we use a lot, but a lot in Spanish, and we like to use it, but we use it in English is that. We overuse the word that. I don't know if you have heard people say it, that, 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 that. Yes, yes. You can replace that word Sometimes you don't need to say that. Sometimes it's okay without that. <laughs> well, I'll say that again <laughs> a lot of times and I'm telling you not to use it. Okay. But you can say which, which, you can say who, you can say what, instead of saying that a lot, that, 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 that. Those are things that we use like in Spanish, we will say muletillas, like we use it a lot. So we need to use it in English as well. And it doesn't make sense if we don't use it. But many sentences make sense without using those words, okay? That's, that's just another mistake. Okay, now here we're talking about training, training. That's the topic of the unit number two. I have a question for you. Have you ever been on trainings in your company? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Yes. Do you like to be on training? Yes. Sometimes. Yes. Like. <laughs> Sometimes. Sometimes. Okay. There are there are training that are, that are very good, but there are training that are so boring. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Right now, I mean trainings because now in the, well, I just got my my job in the a public school this year. So I started working at a public school this year. And now they say they want to change the system. <laughs> so they are training us, the new teachers. But I don't like it because there are a lot of activities that we have to do, a lot of activities. And a lot of videos that we have to watch and a lot of sessions that we have to be on. And it's like, we don't have time to do all those things. Well, David, you are a teacher, you know that. Yes. There is no time. Like the teacher's job is not just to sit here and teach, is to plan the class, is to grade the students, is to make plans, is to like, it's a whole, it's a whole job. So I don't like it, the trainings right now because they are too, I don't know. There are a lot of activities that we have to do. That's, that's the only, only thing that I don't like. But otherwise, I like trainings as well. Now, if you were the boss of a company, or not the boss, just the manager of the head of the group, or, or maybe you are the head of the group, and then someone asked you, hey, would you like to train your group? You say, yeah, maybe I would like my group to be trained. How would you choose the training that your group needs? I don't know if my, my question is clear. Um, yes. You have many different trainings where you can choose from. But these people are asking you to be specific. What do you think is the part where they lack of that they need training on. How would you this like how would you realize what is the type of training they need? Here is an idea. Maybe you can do a survey. You know what is a survey? Yes, teacher. Okay, maybe in the survey they are gonna let you know what type, what things are not being really good in the workforce. Maybe another thing that you can do, we have it right there. It's a, 
like questions, a guide, guide questions. You can do a questionnaire, you can do a chart, and you can do, I don't know how, it, what is the name of this thing? I used to do it when I was FODA. You, you know that? Yes. In, in, like you can do a FODA and then realize FODA. how to like- DAFO, what? DAFO. I, I see in English is DAFO. DAFO, I think it's something like that. I yes. have never yes. done something a FODA like that. In, in English, yes. but yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's one. And you can do one of those things to realize what kind of training your company needs. It's not like, hey, we have a training for, I don't know, on how to make chicken and you work <laughs> for a call center. And you're like, yeah, I would like to be on that training. <laughs> yeah, really, you wanna make chicken while you take phone calls? That, that doesn't make sense. So you need to be specific on that. What? If I work for a call center, what do you think is a good training for people who work in a call, on call centers? Maybe, maybe uh, uh, how to to how to take care of customers. How to take care of customers? Okay, so customer service. That's a training. Yes, okay. customer service. Yes, we can do that customer service. What about maybe. communication skills? Communication styles. Communication skills and styles. Okay, perfect. What else? Good to be patient. What is it? With the customer. Good to be patient. Patient? With the patient with the customer. Okay, how to be patient? Client. Yeah, that as well. You know, guys, I worked. <laughs> I worked the, the, for a call that, center. That needs to be a pill. A pill. <laughs> yeah, it needs to be a, like a medicine, something. Yes. I used, I worked for a call center and I worked for this call center just for a week. I couldn't take it. I was like, that's not for me. Nah, not at all. So I called a customer and this customer, well, I never realized that there were so many insults in English since I had that call. I was like, <laughs> never knew about that. That was like, yeah, that that's, that's, a heavy language you have right there, and 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 and, and I'm, I'm 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 sensitive. Well, I was more sensitive back then, and I started crying. I was like, "What did I do? I don't understand." But then you realize they are not angry with you; they are just angry, right? They are just yeah, they are just like that. So I couldn't take it. But for me, in my opinion, and I don't know what you think. Well, the people who work on, on call centers right here. Do you think that stress management is a good option for the yes. training? Yes, totally agree. <laughs> what about the people who work on the call centers? Safety. Stress management for, for teacher, for sure. people that work in call center, center for, for everybody, because the stress is the... Is, is the illness of the moment. Yeah, stress, stress. So would you like to have a training on stress management or not? Yes, why not? Yes, it's helpful to, to learn way to, to manage stress and and make our working day place. Yeah, pleasant. pleasant. Yes, it's true. Pleasant. You know that in, well, we live in, in Latin America, so what, what can we expect? But in places like Europe, there are some countries in Europe, I think, and I don't know if in Japan, Asia, well, there are some places where they work only four days and they take a break for three days because they say working for five days and just have, yeah, I know, and just uh, being home for two days, is too stressful. So people are not productive because they are stressed. But working only four days of the week will be more productive, even though they are, there are there's one day that we're missing, but people are more productive four days than being five days. 
That's what they think. Some other countries, they give breaks to take naps. Do you know what is a nap? Yes. Okay. Yeah. If they give me in my workplace a break to take a nap, I will be the happiest person <laughs> alive. Like, okay, um, just imagine that. Agree. Just imagine that. Hey, guys, well, it's time for a nap. <laughs> what a dream job. <laughs> Where do I sign, right? So nap, nap time. Actually, well, th there are so, so many things like music, like um, scents, the things that you can smell around, taking breaks, taking naps. I know that some call centers, like when you work on site, they have recreational areas where you can go and you can play. They have video games and they have stuff. I don't know if you work on a call center like that. But the most important thing for me is not playing, it's sleeping. If they give me a room to sleep, that will be perfect for me. Okay, so right now I need you to do this activity. You will think that you are the head of a group and you need to, you need to tell the, this person what kind of training your group needs. <clears throat> what I want you to do as a group right now is to identify, okay, what resource you're going to use to identify the training you need. Maybe you're going to use a questionnaire. Maybe you're going to use a survey. Maybe you're going to use um, guide questions. Any instrument that you want to use, okay? Any instrument that you want to use. Create the instrument, that's your goal right now. Just create the instrument. It, it doesn't need to have 10 questions to identify the training. It's not about that. We're not gonna do the training right now. Just create three or four questions to identify what kind of training your group needs. Is the activity clear or not? You need me to repeat that? Yes. No teacher, it's okay. I have it here. You have it? Okay. Yes. yes, teacher. Again, just to clarify, you're going to do yeah. an instrument. Yeah, I'm sorry. Can it be, um, let's say, uh, uh, training based on, let's, let's say you're the, the boss or the manager. Mm -hmm. you, could get all, you could go on field and, and see how um, the personal is working. So you could identify What's, what's the training that your employees need? Yeah, that's a good idea, Fredis. But if you go on field to see what your group needs are, you're going to need an instrument as well. Like a rubric. Maybe I will have a rubric and I will go like, okay, my, they, are, they are focused on the job? Okay, they are. They are doing this. They are. So, But you will also need an instrument, right? To go and yeah. check. Maybe that that goal is is the is the key teacher. Uh, maybe explain something about what is an instrument because it's not a, a, a yeah, an instrument is a document. Yeah, a an document instrument... like a survey, like questionnaire, like a, a checklist, uh, like a to do list, something like that. Mm -hmm. Maybe the, this this was the impasse. Okay. An instrument is what you are going to use to identify the training they need. As David was saying, it can be a checklist. I like that one. It can be a checklist. So they are focused. Yeah. They are working on time. Yeah. Maybe they are distracted. Yeah, they are distracted. So there is something we need to check about that. Maybe they are. Okay. So if we go on field, a checklist will be a good instrument. Okay. Then if we see the development on how our workers are working, right? Then I'm gonna need a rubric. Okay, this person, how does this person do the activity? Okay, person from one to five, a rubric is like that. From one to five, how do I um, grade the ability of this person to communicate? Okay, it's a three. 
From one to five, how do I read, rate this person's ability to manage stress? That's a two, okay? That's a rubric. Then we can go with a questionnaire. What is it, please? You need to evaluate the person. Okay, yeah, with a rubric, we evaluate the person. But in this case, we're not evaluating the person specifically. We're evaluating the process and how they work, okay, as a group, not the person specifically. Yeah. Okay, then you have a questionnaire. Then maybe you can, you can have a time with your, with your group and ask, ask them questions, okay? So what do you think about this? Okay. What are your feelings on working from Monday to Saturday? Okay. You can ask them questions. And then maybe it's gonna be more specific with the questions because they are gonna tell you what they want or what they think they need, okay? It's clear how to use different instruments. I'm just giving you some, some examples. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, it's clear. Okay. Now, just talk to your group, think about the instrument you would like to uh, use and just make examples, like three examples on the instrument. Okay? Perfect. And then I'm gonna check on that. Okay, perfect. <clears throat> and yeah, we, we are, yeah, we're close to the end. I, you, you, how can I say this? I have been working with groups of, of only one hour, one hour groups. Lately, just one hour groups. And when they told me they are gonna have six, yeah, I mean, I'm creating, I'm making the groups. They're gonna have two hours. I was like, what, two hours? That's gonna be hard. Like, how am I gonna speak two hours? And yeah, I did it. <laughs> okay, that mm. David Samuel Caldames. Okay, okay, you're in the same group, David. Don't worry about okay. that. Okay, mm -hmm. thank you. Let's go, yeah. Janari.
um, some training or some special training in order to improve your job? So, uh, just to offer a good productivity on the company, the training can be uh, to know very well about the product. So, there is not a discrimination, just keep excellent uh, works on the area, uh, on the group upsetting, just really focus uh, to socialize with the customers. We, just, we don't just don't care about the, the leader. So we really appreciate to work as a team in my case. Okay. Stories? As an accountant, um, do you think you need uh, some extra training or some personal training? Okay. Or completing your tasks. Mm -hmm. Tell me a problem that you recently have. You recently have. In your job, have or had? It's, it's past. Having your job or completing your task, tell me a problem. You have, you have recently had. That you recently have or you, you, you is, here is the pronoun. You have had because it's past. You recently have in your job. It's not a, a, a perfect future. Yeah, but you I think that is you have recently had, mm. have had. Have had, have had, you have recently have. This is a, a present perfect. Yeah. Give me a problem that you have recently had. Maybe. That you have recently had. You had, yeah. You have. You have recently had in your job or completing your task. Yes, yes, that's Tell okay. Me a Tell me a problem that you have recently had in your job. Yeah. Yeah, it's okay. It's good.
hello, hello. Well, let's go with the attendance because I didn't realize that it took a little bit of the time, but yeah, let's go. Axel Gabriel Rivera Rodriguez. It's not here. Okay. Andres Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Andres Giovanni is coming or not? Okay, Andres is not here. Blanca Stephanie Navarro Flores. Present teacher. David Samuel Caldames Monterrosa. Present teacher. Okay. Um, Dora Elizabeth Flores Mendez. Present. Oh, is he is Andres Giovanni? Yes, teacher. I'm okay, present. perfect. Erwin Lagos Andrade. Present teacher. Thank you. Fátima Lourdes Gaitán Romero. Present. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Francisco Amadeo Villacorta Chávez. Present teacher. Freddy Vladimir Cortés López. I'm here, teacher. Harvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Present teacher. Kenia Esmeralda. Galvez Ruiz. Present. Okay. Ma Madeline Yamilet Molina González. Present teacher. Manuel de Jesús Sánchez Hernández. Present teacher. Marlon Stanley Ramírez Reyes. Stanley. Marlon Stanley Ramírez Reyes. No está allá. Telma Cleotilde Peña Martínez. Present. William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Present. Jessica Yanari Cortez Díaz. I'm here. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Okay. ¿Hay alguien que no mencioné? ¿O si les mencioné todos? Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Uh, mañana es web. Uh, tomorrow. I'm sorry. I switched to Spanish. <laughs> tomorrow I'm going to ask you what instrument you used. Okay. Right now we're gonna go and I'm gonna stay with Fredis. Fredis is gonna be the one today, okay? Okay, bye bye okay. teacher, good night. Good night, bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Fredis. Yes. Hello Fredis. How are you? Good. Wait a second. Okay. Okay. Do you have any? Well, you have. Let me tell you something first. You have a really good English level. You say you're a plumber, only a plumber. But yeah. if you want to pursue something related with English, I think you will make it because you have a really good English. You think so? Yeah, I think I think you have a really good English. Have you ever, well, maybe you don't like the stress that there is in a call center or on other jobs? But I if tried, you, I, if you, I tried to apply to a call center uh, like around two weeks ago. Two weeks no, ago? No, no way. Two months ago, no. Yeah, I think it was two months ago. Yeah, two months ago. But actually, um, I got disappointed because I didn't pass the, um, the last. Um, I think it was, I don't know if it was like an exam. I was attending um, some, some calls and only, I only was able to attend um, three calls in 30 minutes. So I, I passed on um, the first three exams. The first one was the speaking. I was speaking with the, with the, with the manager. I think it was the manager, mm -hmm. the one that called me, I think. In order to apply for the job, I was talking to her for around like more than 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. Then she said, um, check my email. I went and check it out. And she told me to get in the in the link in order mm -hmm. to continue. Mm -hmm. I filled out the forms. I answered some questions. And after that, I said that I passed that. Then they actually sent me to to another place where there were some some forms that I I was 
actually needed to fill out in order I was having the call. Uh, it mm -hmm. was like, it, it was a proud, proud company. Okay. It was oh. called Black, Black, Black Hawk. Black Hawk, yeah, I know who they are. Actually, so, but it was um, a fraud? Yeah. Actually, um, I, I, a teacher recommended me there. Uh -huh. And then, then um, he called me like three hours later, and then he told me, um, "What happened? He was was you able to apply for that?" I was like, "Yeah, but um, I got that. I got uh emails that it said that I was rejected. If I wanted to apply in three months later, I could do it." I was like, "Why? But you passed the two exams, yeah. But I think the last one I failed." It. It was like taking the calls was the most difficult part, you would say? Yeah, because I was only able to, to attend three calls. Um, actually, I think my mistake it was in the, in the typing because I am not too fast as, as typing, so. Oh, got it, got it, got it. Maybe, maybe your English is not your problem because that's what I think. Maybe your problem is that you need to practice more like writing or typing on, on computers. Yeah, because um after the call sense, I, I would actually had to send a a small res resume of the like a like report. a make a report. Uh -huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So actually, they they gave me like around thirty seconds in order to make a paragraph. <laughs> so uh, the paragraph wasn't that long because. My typing skills are not that fast. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think okay. that was my mistake. Yeah, I think because I think it's not your English. As I told you before, I think your English is pretty good. But yeah, to be able to work in a call center like Black Hawk. Yeah, that, that's a big one that you're talking about. <laughs> um, you need to be very fast when speaking to your customers, well, as well as being polite. But you need to be very fast when doing the reports, the processes, the like working on the different systems they have. Yes, that's the difficult part right there. Yeah. So maybe you need to practice your typing skills. Yeah. More like in your English as well, but not, I think that's not the problem. I think the problem was typing. I downloaded um there was an app for typing, uh, but actually it's kind of hard for me. You will get used to it. Like for me right now, if I type it, it's easier now than like it was two years ago, only because I have been working online for two years. So it's easier now when I want to type something. I'm not as fast as maybe some companies would like, but I'm fast enough for what I do, but you need to be really fast. Yeah, because I think my fingers are not that flexible in order to type. Well, what you need to do is like to memorize what letters go with what fingers. Yeah, but sometimes I think that the letters are way too far for where you your fingers at. Have you, well, I think there are keyboards that are smaller and also they have keywords, predicting keywords, but well, I think they are expensive, but they have, they have predicting keywords. The predicting keywords are the keywords that you go only with your fingers like this, boop, 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 and then you're typing words and they predict the words that you wanna type based on what you're doing. I don't know, that's something, but there are, there are ways to type fast because you know, when you go to a trial, you know what is a trial? Yeah. Okay, when you go to a trial, there's a person in charge of typing everything that there is said. Mm -hmm. So how do you think they do it? They have a program. They, they have a predicting keyboard. They have predicting keywords. For yeah, because you can see they're fast as typing. You, can, you need to be very fast because, for example, if we were talking right now, that person needs to be typing all the words that we're saying. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So they have predicting keywords. If I would like to give you the advice, maybe 
not predicting givers because I, I'm guessing they are expensive, but try to get a smaller keyboard, not as big as, the, as a computer, like a whole computer, just a smaller keyboard maybe. Smaller than the laptop. Why, if that worked for you? Maybe. Mm -hmm. If that works for you, because I think you have a good English. Is there something else I can help you with? No, I don't think so. Okay, perfect. So my advice, Fredis, you have a good English. Just try to be um, faster when typing. And I think you're gonna get it. I think you're gonna get uh, into Black Hawk in three months, well, one month. But if you want to take a little bit longer and practice your typing skills, that will be perfect. I'll try. Yeah. Okay, Fredis, I will see you tomorrow, right? Thank you. Okay, have a good night. You too. Bye.